Okay, we're back with part two of our Craig rifle repair. Again, this is going to be trickier, um, and I will show you how to mount this later on, but I'm more concerned about showing you how to fix these wrist uh, cracks. Again, two ways you can do it. Um, I have a pre-cut dowel. Drill into the crack like so and epoxy it and then clamp it from top to bottom. That's one way. Um, I should move that closer. Uh, the other way is to, you can also is thread a brass rod. Uh, some people like brass, some people like steel, it's all the same. Um, it's gonna be a little harder to clean up on top as opposed to the wood just kind of comes off. Um, it'll make it slightly stronger depending on how bad the crack is. This is a crack that may have been there for a long time. Um, and you know the boiling kind of brought it out. It doesn't seem to necessarily be an expanding crack. Um, you know it's not flexing as much, so I'm not super worried about it snapping in half. Even if we, you know, was we could we could fix that as well. There's a small crack there. I can fix that simply with epoxy. I don't even see the need to drill that because that's so superficial. Uh, and you can see kind of what we're looking at right there. And again, this crack through the wrist here. So what we're going to do, we're going to drill in through here, epoxy this in place like we did with the other one, and then this one we're actually going to clamp. I like using these clamps because you can put a lot of force, a lot of torque on them. Uh, Harbor Freight has them, Home Depot, any uh, repair shop or uh, uh, home improvement shop has them. So let me move this out of the way. And you kind of want to set your angle because your drill is going to have to go fairly deep into the wood. Like that. I'm actually going to get in a GoPro so you can actually see what I'm doing as I'm doing it instead of like this. It's kind of stupid. but So I'm going to basically drill in that way. Um, so I'm going to start here and I'm going to set up my angle. And again, when you're dealing with a lot of old rifle stocks, there's still grease and grime and cosmoline and stuff in them. So you're going to periodically have to stop and uh, knock that stuff out. Uh, of the of the uh, the wood itself, so you're just gonna drill. And at some point, right there, the dr the drill seems to stop. So I just back to drill out, clean off the threads, take this, and then we're able to continue. So I'm going to check my angle. My angle looks pretty good. Uh, again, I want to drill directly into the wrist. That's not a good sound. What happened? Something got caught. Okay. Also, just like in metal, um, listening to the sound of what's going on is also really important. Uh, for example, if you're drilling a trunnion out on an AK-47, you have a nice soft metal kind of sound, and all of a sudden you start hearing the crack, 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 now you're hitting hardened steel. It's time to stop and see what's going on. All right, so there seems to be something in this stock that is preventing me. There is. I can actually see a small piece of steel that I don't know how it got there, and I don't know because it's not necessarily a part of the stock itself. I'm actually curious if the stock had been repaired in the past. There's some holes in there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually change up the angle of the repair. Uh, I don't typically like doing this, um, but it can still be affected just as easily without too much effort, is we're going to end up drilling from the bottom. Uh, a couple things you can do on a repair like this is you can drill into the stock this way. Um, again, we try to hide it, but the problem is that we're hitting some metal in there, which is unusual because generally these stocks are one piece. I don't know where the metal came from, but I can actually see some a shiny piece of metal uh, down inside the wrist. Um, and it's also entirely possible that this hole might be a previous repair from something. I thought it was actually used to cover up because there was a lot of the stock stamps were covered up. But there actually might be a screw in here already. Uh, in which case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out, um, clean it. I'm going to have to put a drill another hole. And then I'm going to put a wood dowel in it to cover. So we're going to see what happened. I should get different bit.
whoops, backwards. Okay, as you can hear, that went in fairly easy. We can check the depth if we want with this drill bit. So we know that this drill has gone right about that deep into the wood. So that would be a good uh, repair starting point. I'm gonna have to try to melt some of this stuff off because I have a feeling based on what I'm seeing. Because originally there was odd pieces of uh, wood filler and shit everywhere. I think what they did, I think they drilled straight up and they filled it with, with wood filler. I have a, I'm gonna grind that out in another repair. Um, but basically, I'm going to actually just fix this with a screw and then put a wood dowel on it and just call that a day. And again, it'll be mostly invisible repair. The wood, this uh, uh, dowel won't take the stain as effectively as the real wood, but it'll still fix it. So I have a feeling there's actually a screw in here already. Um, this screw, I don't know if it started to crack, but this screw, it's not bad, but you're trying to get a, a, a thin piece of metal or of uh, wood to bite. Um, what I'm actually doing is drilling deeper into the wood so that way you're getting more meat on the repair. Um, what I'll do, like I said, I'm actually going to countersink this. I'm going to put a brass screw in there and then I'll fill it with a dowel. So let me go grab a gra brass screw and I'll be back and show you how to finish this up. We are back and we have determined that somebody had effected a repair on this prior to us getting it. So. Quite simply, what we are going to do is put a screw right in there, just like that. We're going to from the inside, and then use a wood dowel to clean up the hole. The first thing I'm doing is slightly countersinking the repair hole itself, and then I'm going to test the angle. This screw might be a little bit too long, and I don't want it. Yeah, so unfortunately this screw is going to be poking at the top, so i got to get a smaller screw. Um, yeah, i got to get a smaller screw, so I'll be back. Stand by. Okay, so we are back. Um, I am using a wood screw, which has that kind of uh, concave head. And all I'm basically doing is screwing this in as tight as it'll go. So there, so your repair is down in there. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take epoxy on your dowel and you're just gonna dowel it like that in place. When you're done, you're gonna trim it and then we're gonna blend it. Uh, this will be epoxy in place. We're gonna trim this flush and then we're gonna basically use a file to kind of clean it up uh, and we'll bend it, uh, I'm sorry, we'll um, finish up uh, by staining it and this repair will pretty much be fixed. The screw on the inside that you can see uh, is going to hold these two pieces together. Um, I'm not going to epoxy the inside of that because it's kind of no point. I'm actually just going to epoxy the outside uh, since once I know this is never going to go anywhere uh, it's just a matter of just cleaning up this crack. Uh, and again it can be done with just epoxy on the outside, tr uh, trim it up with a file and then uh, do a final sand and stain. So anyway, um, thanks for watching on that. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up at militarygunguy702 at gmail.com. Um, I'll probably end up coming back doing a video on how to extend this back to normal length like I showed you on the, uh, the Berthier. Uh, but that'll show you how to fix uh, some common cracks found in military stocks. Just wanted to show you a quick uh, look at the semi-completed repair. Um, you can see where the uh, dowel has been epoxied in place. I also used um, epoxy to fill the cracks on the side. You're going to have to do this probably twice. It does look like shit, but again, once it's dressed up, this repair will be completely invisible uh, once stained and top coated. Uh, I did drill out this section because I was hitting metal, and I did find that there was a screw head there, so I'm actually going to put a dowel in that as well to kind of clean that up and basically hide that. So this will unfortunately have two dowels. The one part I don't understand is why they put it over the proof mark, but again, this is a sporterized stock, and sometimes you never know what people do to shit before you get a hold of it. So anyway, that's just kind of wanted to give you a look and see, kind of give you a quick peek on how this is supposed to look uh, when done. Again, we're going to cut this flesh. Once this is all hardened up, trim it, 
get it all dialed in and stain it and we'll be good to go. So stay tuned for the final output.